Okay, so hey Obnoxious Mods here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to set up the Super Zip and install Android and set up like the, the CFDU, CFW, MUNAND, like all that kind of good stuff. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get the, uh, the SD card mounted on your computer. If you don't have a micro SD reader, you're, you'll need to buy one. Or if you have Hecate already set up on your device, you are able to go to, um, you'll, you'll be here and you can go to tools and USB tools and you can just do USB mass storage SD card. And that'll get it on your computer. Um, and I will see you guys back on the computer. I'm going to pause the recording and talk to you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. So now once you are on your computer, um, you are going to want to... You'll be here. Because when you have the super zip extracted, if you have the super zip or whatever, you can put it into a folder, right-click it, do 7-zip, extract here. Just put download it, put it in a folder, whatever. Okay, once you're here... Um, here, actually, I'll show you guys how to download it too. Why not? Um, you can just go to files. Oh, just don't well, such much. Go to the f link in the description, and you'll find a uh, a file here. There'll only be one of them when you go look. Um, I'll actually turn into one of them right now. So there'll be one file that starts with super zip. You'll just click it, and then you'll want to open it with seven zip or WinRAR or something. And once you have it, um downloaded and you open it you can open it in the seven zip and then take all the files out and drag and drop them or just put them in a folder right click and do seven zip extract here anything like that works once that's done you'll have these files here like this um, so we're gonna need to move these files over to the SD card so if you now that you have that you'll before I showed you guys how to get the SD card in your computer if you go to this PC You'll typically, if you have a brand new SD card, you'll see XFAT um, here. Um, or if you right click the drive, the micro SD, you'll see XFAT. You don't want XFAT, you want FAT32. Easiest way to solve this issue is to use the GUI format.exe included in the super zip uh, to find the letter of your drive. In my case, it's D. And then this doesn't matter really, and you can name it uh, switch SD to avoid some confusion in the future. And then do quick format and hit start. Um, this will lose all the data on the drive you're doing it to, so make sure you choose the right one. Mine is the D drive. You can unplug and plug your micro SD back in to confirm which drive it is. Um, and if you're going to format it to, uh, one sec, sorry. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I was having some issues with the, the Heck 8 mounting the SD. I don't know why. I don't, I don't think you guys should, but if you're having some any issues using this, try and you get an actual micro SD reader. Anyways. anyways. So once you're in here, you'll want to select your micro SD. Once again, unplug it and plug it back in if you don't know which one it is. Name it Switch SD, and then hit Start. And make sure Quick Format's enabled, and it'll delete all everything on your drive, and then it'll format it to FAT32. Okay, and once that's done, you can go to this PC, and you'll see that your, your whatever drive it was named as Switch SD is now FAT32. You can also right click and hit Properties and see that's FAT32. Okay, brilliant. Next thing you want to do is you want to go get all the files, excluding the actual zip. And you want to copy them, you can highlight all of them by selecting one and then shift, hit, like, say you select, select this one and then put your mouse over atmosphere and then hold shift and then click. It'll highlight all of them or hit one and then shift or you can just control click onto all of them or whatever. It's as easy as I find or you can just do this, drag and drag on all of them. You want all of them selected, then right click and do copy and then go over to the SD card and then right click and then do paste. Now you're going to let all these files transfer over. Um, I will be back when it is done. One second. Okay, guys. So mine is just about finished. And once you have all of the files on your SD card, you're going to need to put the SD card into the console and boot into Heck8. So now that it is done, it will look like this. You'll see files like this. You can double check this. You go to your this PC and go to your Switch SD and it looks like this. Once it looks exactly like this, it's FAT32. Okay. And now you're going to switch over to the console view. Okay, uh, mine is like this, but let's just go ahead and turn it off. And then let's go ahead and get my SD card. And we're going to put the SD card into the back of the console. And then we're going to turn it on. If yours boots into OFW, this means there's an issue with your welds. Um, Sometimes you can just keep restarting it and you'll get into Heck 8 instead eventually. 
Anyways, once you're finally in Heck 8, go ahead and set your timer if you wish. I don't care right now. And now we, what we need to do is we're going to need to set up um, partitions. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go to Tools, Partition SD Card, and we're going to go and do a um, e MUMMC RAW. We're going to put this as 8 gigabytes. You can go bigger if you'd like. I just like doing 8 gigabytes. And then if you're going to install Android, go ahead and do Android at 16 gigabytes or like around 15. It's fine. And do Next Step, Dynamic. And we will do start. This won't take very long. Um, you will need to hit the power button, I believe, here. This will erase the files on your micro SD card again, so you will have to put them back on there. Um, when it says done, this is when you just hit OK, then go to close, then go to home, then go to MUMMC, go to create MUMMC, go to SD partition, and hit partition one. Now, let this go ahead and finish. This won't take very long. I'll see you guys again once it is finished. Okay, so mine is basically done. When it is finished, we will need to continue with some more steps. But to be able to do those steps, we will need the files on the SD card again. So we're going to go over to um, Tools, and we're going to go to USB Tools. We're going to go SD card, and we're going to connect the console to our computer, and we will get the SD card available on our computer as a file storage medium. We will now go back to the... the the PC view and you will see now that we have the switch SD on the PC and we will need to copy all of the files once again to the SD card I use control C control V that time but it's the exact same step as the last time do not worry and I will see you guys once again when this is over okay guys I'm back if you get an error like this just do do this for all current items and it yes and this will replace files okay so mine is done we will need to go back to the console and proceed with flashing Android. So let's go ahead and unplug it. You can also do a safe eject, uh, but life's too short for that. So, all right. Um, if this thing kind of bugs out, just do a console reset. But um, like restart. Anyways, once you're here, I'm gonna go to partition SD card, and we're not gonna do a partition this time. Just hit OK, and then hit Flash Android 13 Plus, and then hit Continue. And then it'll say flash, flash, flash. If you didn't, hit, if you get an error here, you didn't put the files back on properly. And let's go ahead. It wants us to reboot into Android Recovery. That's perfect. So just let it. Uh, just takes a little while to get into this menu. It's all good. Once you are in, you can do a factory reset, format data. This will not lose any data. This is just uh, basically creating the partition that we need. And then let's go back and do apply update, choose some switch SD, and let's go down to switch root, and let's go to Android, and let's go to lineage. Okay, let this complete. If you get anything asking you questions, just hit yes to continue or whatever. I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, mine is almost done. But uh, this next step will be strictly for if you want Google Apps. Like, you want anything to do with Google on your Android installation, then you do this next step. If you don't want to have anything related to Google, like you don't want the Play Store, you don't want Google Backups, you don't want any of that crap, you don't want to be do Google, do not do this next step. Um, but I recommend it for new people, or if you don't know why you wouldn't want it, then just do it. So we'll go to Apply Update, choose from SD, scroll down to Switch Root, Android, and hit Mine the G Apps. Okay? This one should give you some kind of invalid signature error or something like that. You can just hit skip or yes or whatever when it asks you. And yeah, inv signature verification failed, just hit yes. And it'll start and I'll be back once again. Okay, so mine is basically done. Maybe another couple of seconds. Um, so let's go ahead and go to um, reboot system now. Next thing you're going to want to do, I highly recommend doing this very really really recommend it is to go into payloads and you go to lockpick RCM then just hit the power button to do dump from sysnand and this will dump your keys and then go back to the scroll use the volume buttons to go down to reboot to heck 8 and then hit power on reboot to heck 8 you get back to heck 8 I won't do this because it'll take forever but I really 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 recommend doing this go to backup EMMC and do EMMC boot 0 and boot 1 then do EMMC sys um, if you want it to be quick, but that'll be more work. If you're a complete noob, 
You don't know what you're doing. Do EMMC boot zero, boot one, and then do EMMC raw GPP. If you have an OLED, this one needs 64 gigs on the SD card. All other models will only need 32 gigs on the SD card. But um, after you have done that, I highly recommend backing up the file that is created in the backup folder on the SD card on your computer. I won't go through that, but at the very least, I recommend completing boot zero, boot one, and raw EMMC raw GPP. And I recommend doing it again if you at ever any point reformat your SD card or do anything wrong. Um, really recommend doing this step. Uh, I won't bother because I already have everything backed up for this console. But I really recommend doing that. And then, once you're done with that, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to launch. And well, you're going to go ahead and set up um, Android. So if we go boot up into Android, um, you won't really have to do much. It's just a typical Android um, setup screen if you've ever set up a new Android phone or tablet before. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that really quickly and then we'll go set up some stuff in the MU NAND uh, CFW option for Horizon OS. This will take a little while to boot the first time so I think I'm gonna pause it. Be right back. Um, I think mine's pretty close to being done. So once it's started up, we're going to need to go through the default Android setup thingy, like I was saying before. It'd be kind of lame if I underestimated how close this was to being done, and I'm just talking for 10 fucking hours. Yeah, I'll pause it again, one sec. Okay, so once you're here, just do English by default, then just hit start, honestly. I don't think you want to change any of that crap. And uh, it takes a little bit, and then just do skip. Connect your Wi-Fi if you wish, otherwise do set up offline. Perfect. Taking a bit longer than usual, I think, but, um, yeah, one sec, I'll be right back. Okay, mine's finally done. So, it's, I guess it's, it's in a new step now, it's not quite done, but hopefully it doesn't take as long. Oh, boy. I'll pause it again, be right back. Okay, never mind, here we go. So, I'm just going to skip all this, you can sign into your Google account if you wish. You'll need it for Play Store and stuff. And for backups and that kind of crap. I like to turn everything off here personally. But you can do as you wish. And you can set up a pin if you want. I'm just skipping it. Be right back again. Actually, never mind. I won't have to, I think. I just said skip again. I like to turn this off. I don't know. You may want to turn that on. I don't know. I turn it off. Turn that off. I like to do dark. You can do light if you want. I like to do three button navigation on Android. But I prefer gesture on iPhone. Anyways, that's good to go now. And uh, as long as you're signed into a Google account, you'll have access to uh, the Play Store and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. And now we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and power off again. Power off. Let's go back into Heck 8. Let's take a little while to start. Okay. Now we're in Heck 8. So, next thing we're going to want to do is go to Next Settings and then do Dump Joy-Con BT. Uh, one of my Joy-Con rails is fucked, so it gives me this failed, but you should get a... This should complete properly. This step is for letting the Joy-Cons work wirelessly on Android. Um, so this is not 100% required, and it will also not work if your Joy-Cons are aftermarket. They have to be originals, um, like by Nintendo. So just connect them, and then hit jump, and this should just succeed. If, if you don't care, don't have to do that step. Anyways... Now we're going to go set up some stuff in the CFW MUMMC. So let's go boot into MUMMC CFW. Oh, 
Holy moly. All right. So. So. Once you are here, you're going to need to do a few things. First off, we're going to go into system settings, internet, internet settings, and then go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi connection. Perfect. And then go back here and go to system, go to date and time, go to off here, and then go here and go. The day is currently October 23, so we're going to do that. And then it is uh, 606, so that's 1806. And that's perfect, I think. And next, I don't know what's happening. Oh, yeah, I forgot this controller isn't connected. But, um, so I'll have to use this button to get back to the home screen, I believe. Oh, this controller is trolling me really hard right now, not gonna lie. Let's see if I can get it connected. I don't think it will though. Here you guys, I'll pause it for a sec, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So, once you have your system time set correctly, let's go double check that again. Oops, off. So October 23rd, 6.08 right now, or it's 6.09. One minute off is fine. Anyways, um, what you want to do is you want to go up to the homebrew menu, which is you can do by using a purchasing album and the, the, the home screen. And you're going to want to go open up uh, Tenwu Installer. Hit A when that error comes up, then go install from SD card. And you're going to want to scroll down until you find the switch folder on your SD card. May take a little while. There we go. Hit A and then go down to tinfoil, then go down to NSP and then do tinfoil forwarder, hit SD card, then do yes I understand the risk and hit OK and then do no and then go do exit. Okay, if you go to the home screen you'll now find tinfoil there. Go ahead and open it. Now we have tin foil set up, and uh, to add tin foil shops to tin foil, you'll go down to File Browser, hit A, and then hit Minus. And if you don't have any tin foil shop information, you can message me via email or contact me on Instagram or something. Um, that's pretty much it for setting up uh, the Super Zip or setting up your brand new jailbroken switch. Um, thank you very much for watching, and please contact me or comment or anything if you have any issues. Thank you.